Welcome to WWC Mathematics Channel. Today, my lovely Ducky fan. Hi! He's Yun Chiang. And you will learn math together. So let's see what topic we'll talk about today. Boys and girls, today I would like to talk about perfect numbers. Perfect numbers in Chinese is called yuan chun so. So boys and girls, you may have no idea of what is the meaning of perfect numbers or even in Chinese or where you yuan chun so are. So before I talk about what's the meaning of perfect numbers, you need to remember those things you have learned before. For example, do you still remember what's the meaning of integers? If you still remember what's the meaning of integers, do you still remember what's the meaning of factors? So I give you five seconds to recall. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now we can go to learn about what's the meaning of perfect numbers. But before I start talking about the definition of perfect numbers, I would like to give an example. For example, this time I take an integer, which is 12. In this lesson, we assume that all numbers, including integers or all and other factors, are positive. So I simply take positive 12 as an example here. So if you still remember this 12, we will have 6 factors. Why? Because the 6 factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So why do I know these 6 numbers are the factors of 12? It is because these 6 numbers are all can define 12. For example, when we take the number 3, so you can easy to understand that if 12 is divided by 3, you get 4. That means that actually you can define 12 completely. So we will call these 6 numbers are the factors. So you should also remember that for every number, 1 and itself should be the factors of the number itself. But now we are not just talking about all the factors, but we just are anxious to talk about the first five factors, for example, 12. Why? Because actually, these five numbers are not including itself. So we will call them the proper factors of 12. That means that if the factors are less than the number itself, so we will call those factors are proper factors. So do you have any problem about proper factors? If not, now we can go to see what is the meaning of perfect numbers. So the meaning of the perfect numbers would be the following. Perfect number. So perfect number actually is the number which had the proper devices. But those proper, de the proper, the proper devices, or we simply say the proper factors, we will can consider the sum of them. So when we try to add all the proper devices or proper factors, it should become equal to the number itself. Then we will call those numbers are called the perfect number. So you may not understand what I'm talking about. So just simply take an example. For example, I take a very small number, 6. Then you can see this number 6, we will have 1, 2, 3, and 6 are the factors. Now, because we just talked about the proper factors, so we may simply cancel the number 6. Then you can verify that when we add 1 and 2 and 3 together. You can see that when we add these three numbers together, you get 6, which is equals to the number itself. 6 and 6 here. So we will actually say the number 6 is a perfect number. Because the sum of its proper divisor or proper factors equals to itself. So we call it perfect number. I'll give you another example. For example, now 
when we talk about the number 12, as we said. This time, when we list the proper feathers, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. But when we will try to verify the sum of the proper feathers, you can see that 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 6 together is not equal to 12, but it's 16. So you can see this number is not the same as 12 here. So we can conclude that the number 12 is not a perfect number. Because you can easily see that now the sum and the number itself are not the same. So we will say 12 is not a perfect number. So you may have a question is that, oh, Mr. Wall, which number is perfect number, which number is not? So actually, it is not easy to find perfect numbers because nowadays we still have no a concrete rule to find what number is a perfect number, except you list all the fantasy. But surely we can say some numbers are surely not a perfect number. So I'll just give you another example. For example, this time I consider those numbers which are prime numbers. So boys and girls, I think that you still remember some prime numbers also. The prime numbers are those numbers which are special. How special? Because you still remember that if I say P is a prime number, then this number P will only have two factors, which are one and itself. That means that for prime numbers, because it only has two factors. It means that the only proper factor of any prime number is just only one. There will be no another because we assume that the number now we are talking about are the prime numbers. So surely you understand also that P cannot be equal to one because prime numbers, you understand that it starts from two. That means that actually you understand that for every prime numbers, it cannot be perfect number. It is because the proper factor one can never be equal to the prime number themselves. So here's one other example. So before I end the lesson now, I would like to give you something to think about. Now, I write three numbers on the screen. So try to investigate and try to see whether these three numbers are all perfect numbers or not. The first number I would like to introduce would be 28. After that, try to think about whether 36 is a prime is a perfect number. And the last, how about 47? Try to think about and answer me tomorrow.